So I get a call from my friend who said, Yankee, I want to buy 13 ounces of gold. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. That's right, I got a call from a really good friend who said, Yankee, I'm interested in getting a hold of 13 ounces of gold. I went, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're not talking about like silver, right? You're not looking for 13 ounces of that stuff. You're talking gold? He said, yep. I said, do you know how much gold costs per ounce? Yeah, it, it, it ain't cheap. And he's like, yeah, I know. I'm after 13 ounces of gold. And then the next question I had was, not mine. <laughs> you can't have my gold. He's like, no, I don't want the Yankee cannon. Well, I, I'm not looking to buy the Yankee cannon. That's not what I'm after. I'm actually not after American Gold Eagles. He said he was after gold bars. Bars that he feels he could trust that they were legitimate. Actually, we're going to touch on that at the end of this video. But <laughs> I was still rather taken aback by 13 gold bars. I said, why don't we meet up at Tim's? I'll uh, introduce you to him and uh, we can have a, a fun discussion together. So let's watch what happens. Okay, so we're right here at Tim's. He is open and I'm here with my friend who's going to buy some gold bars. Like, like two or three. I'm eight. looking at 13. 13? Are yep. you kidding me? <laughs> you're gonna just like, just stack them or are you gonna do something with them? For now, I'm gonna stack them. All right, that's a good idea. Yeah. And we'll see what I, got, what I can do with it in future. All right, I think that might make Tim's day. So why don't we go in and, uh, this is the first time you've been here, right? Yep. All right, cool. All right, friend. Hey, Tim. Hi there. <laughs> Get the elbows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what are you interested in? So I'm looking for some gold bars. Mm -hmm. The premiums had started to come down mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then gold, you know, went up closer to $1,900, which is the all time high, it's 19 and a quarter. Oh. It isn't getting any cheaper, that's the problem. The US right, mint, right. Um, has already lost about 30% of their mintage in the silver eagles for the year. Mm -hmm. um, they haven't delivered a whole lot of gold coins, so they, um, I think this this you know outrageous premium is going to last quite quite a bit longer until they can start to catch up and put some gold coins in the pipeline. Even the premiums in gold have grown in the last two months that I remember. Even after this, well, whole, they, they started, it wasn't as high. They, they started to even off, but then you know as gold started back up, right? Uh, the premiums because the people who have them. Don't know if they can get any more. Exactly. That's the problem. They're, they're well, in double silver, digits you know, too. We thought the prices of the silver <laughs> eagle, like the 2020s, they came down about 50 cents and then turned right around. Turn right around. Um, you know, they, every time my wholesaler orders a dozen monster boxes, he's lucky if he gets two or three. It's still wow. the same situation. Yeah. You're well, at the bars, right? He, yes, I'm looking at the bars. Yeah, he's, he stocks bars, but that's only because he hedges them out every year, every day. If you know, if he, he doesn't want to be caught short, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're, you know, if you're carrying an inventory of a million dollars in in gold, you don't want to be caught short, you know, because it could change like it did yeah. this morning, apparently. Yeah. You just went there this morning, didn't you? I did. You and and I've learned right. that the best time the to come price. in here is after you've bought right. because the price always goes That's down. It. Exactly. <laughs> It did today. It right dropped. After you, right after you. Right after you. <laughs> yeah, not, not before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was looking at the price like um, a week ago, and it was like around, you know, 1850, 1851. And in be even in between that time, it was just going up and up. It was, I didn't see any, any time. Yeah, I don't see it. It, it looked like it was stop. taking a breather. We looked just Yeah, we did. Then. Yeah, we did. So it could go back down again, but at the same time, Man, you can't. You don't know. We could eat, we could bust through all time highs and hit two thousand. Yeah, it's gonna stay like this. For yeah, a while. gold is still at eighteen, so it's not. Okay. It, it didn't go down that bad. When it's down eleven dollars from the high today it was uh, eighteen sixteen. It, it was 19. above nineteen though, right? Oh no, silver. silver. Oh, silver. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Silver, you said yeah, eighteen. Silver, I'm sorry. silver is down a lot. From I mean, this morning yes. it was at nineteen thirteen. Now right. It's at uh, eighteen sixty six. Well, you know, I am looking at some silver here. Oh, look at that. Oh, what do you know? Uh, 
Uh, you know, that's really pretty. What What is that right there? Uh, I think that's from, um, what's that? Tupelo? Know. Is that that island? Oh, look at that. Yeah. How cute. Yeah, that's totally Yankee right there. Not. All right, so. <laughs> so it price on be... the uh, bars today, hmm. if it doesn't change again, uh, would be around 1870. 1870. Yeah. Now, bar, now, what kind of bars? I mean, do you care if it's like well, camp or... I am or... looking for camp because that's oh. the one that goes, you know, that, that's, I think, one on the on the top of the list. Okay, what other ones would, I, you, would I you be open? I think that's also stocks, Perth. Perth, Perth yeah. Yeah. Camp, yeah. you probably would just have to wait a little longer. He has Perth Mint. He stocks Perth. Yeah. Yeah. So what would be the good, best way to go about doing that in terms of... With the quantity? Yeah, with the quantity, making sure you could reserve it and, you know, whatever. I think you mentioned doing it in two stages too, right? Because mm -hmm. if you point. did, <laughs> all the numbers are worn off my calculator. These are pressed all the time. It'd be around 24310 Even if you break it up into two, that's still over $10,000. Yeah. So oh. your so best bet is, a, is a, either a personal check or a cashier's check. Okay. You know, most people say, well, you actually take personal checks, what will we do? I can't hand you the gold until the check clears. Right. Right. <laughs> and actually, on some of the remote um, sales that we had, that you know, compliments the Yankee, um, you know, people have sent me personal checks. And That's right. It's just, it's less complicated. Right. So, you, you, know, you just, you don't want to skirt IRS regulations. It's not even worth it. I don't, yeah, I don't know any not, coin dealers who do. It's not one of those departments that you want to play with. Because if you forget to fill out the paperwork, then you're facing a lot more paperwork. Sometimes legal documents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much was the Libertad? Uh, that's 25. Yes, my daughter, Sue, who's a financial analyst, says it's, um, it's a staircase recovery. <laughs> it right. goes up a little. And drops, and then goes up a little, and drops, and goes up a little, and drops. It goes up but, more, and drops just a little. It goes up a little. Yeah. Where are my quarter ounce gold maple leaves? I got, I got to finish my maple musket, man. Where are they? I haven't talked to anyone who has seen one in three months. <sighs> Did I pick the wrong time to to do this? Well, I, do you have any friends at the Canadian Mint? Man, that that's my next road trip, guys. We're gonna go to the Royal Canadian Mint, and I'm gonna knock on their door. <laughs> well, you know, take a few uh, Antifa friends and oh, you know, oh, and they'll answer the door oh, for you quickly. Man. You're bad. You're <laughs> so bad. All right, so know you, you know, know I want to buy them from you. I don't want to have to go through the For online bullying dealers. Like politics getting into our discussion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. yeah, there's one person, one All right. outfit that I would not borrow money from, and that's the United States government. After we met with Tim, we had lunch together. And he said that he is actually uh, buying for a group of individuals that are interested in gold. So he's sort of the, like the, the point person. They give him the cash and he does the buying. He told me that he's gone down to Massachusetts. He's <laughs> dealt with somebody in, in, in New York. I mean, he's willing to drive wherever to get his gold, but he loved the idea of getting it close by. And he really wanted to do it through Tim. Will he do it right now? He's ready to, but he kind of wanted to wait to see if the gold price drops a bit. I said, yeah, it could. I mean, if we had another you know, liquidity crisis like we did back in March. I also warned him to be very careful about testing his gold. When I uh, bought my Yankee Cannon, I got a, a tube of these direct from the mint. And that, to me, was the safest way to do it. However, when you're talking about bars, gold bars specifically, you have to be really, really careful. Because of the incredibly high price, bars could actually be um, filled with, like, tungsten and just, you know, veneered with gold. So you got to be really careful. He said he would. He's, he said he would probably have it tested at least to, you know, have Tim or, uh, or somebody else test the gold. But you got to be really careful when you're buying large amounts of gold. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to him actually making the purchase. It's coming up, I think, real soon. And I, and I asked him, you know, could I be there maybe just to see, you know, the gold? And he said, absolutely. So 
definitely uh, check out the description of this video. I have some really cool links in there. And please leave a comment about what you think about purchasing 13 gold bars. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.